Hi, my name is Dex and in today's video we'll be looking at the bank reconciliation feature in both SQL Accounting and AutoCount. So we know in Malaysia there's a lot of accountants that actually do their bank account outside the system using an Excel. This is a very risky thing to do because transactions in your Excel might not always be the same as in your accounting system. Therefore, in my consult, we always recommend our clients to use the system to do your bank reconciliation regardless of whether you did AutoCount or SQL Accounting. Alright? So the first software that we'll be always looking at will be AutoCount Accounting. So to do your bank recon in here is you go to GL, select your bank reconciliation. So here you can see we have already done one month bank recon. So we undo the next one, we just press new 28022021. Okay. So the system will then generate you the transaction that has not been cleared since the last bank recon. So you can either sort by check number, by document number, by date or even by the amount, alright? So that's one of the cool features in AutoCount, alright? So if that transaction is cleared in the bank statement, all we just need to do is to tick this, and then tick this, and then tick this. System will then tell you and tag it as bank statement reconciliation date as of 28 February. And of course, you need to put in your closing balance. So let's say the closing balance 9400. So now your difference is out by zero, alright? So then of course you can save this transaction. So one of the things that we always notice is that when we do your bank recon, then you realize there are some bank charges and everything. What we need to do is, of course, we can actually pre-save it first, okay? Then we need to go to your journal entry, go to journal. So let's go back to your journal entry, GL, journal entry. Then we will need to create a new, say, let's say, example, this will be bank charges. 0102, charges this is a debit so that's a ten dollars and then here bank sorry bank bank ten dollars so then save all right so to go back to your bank account so you can come back to bank consolation we refresh here straight we can see the last next month then we press edit then now only you can see your bank charges, alright? So then you can tick it, and of course, whether or not it's out of balance or not, alright? So the system still allows you to save when it's out of balance, so that actually you can key in particular transaction, and then you can come back and do your bank recon. Alright, so this is for AutoCount accounting. Now let's look into SQL accounting. SQL accounting's bank recon looks very similar. Go to GL, go to bank reconciliation. System will tell you, okay, this is the recent bank that you have done. Then let's say we want to do the next bank recon, we just press new, put the date here, 31st December 2020, select your bank account, say main bank, alright. So of course here, what I always tell my clients is to show antique transaction and show current, and normally I don't tick this, right. So we press apply, the system will give you all your particular transaction inside here. Of course when it comes to bank closing, you need to put in what is your closing balance, so let's say 9000. So the system tells you it's out of balance of 1001. Same thing, you can actually sort by date, sort by number, by check number, by debit value or credit value up to you. The key difference between SQL and AutoCount is that they actually have one called a load statement function. Right? So it's actually compatible with majority of our local banks. Of course, you need to talk to your dealer or you can actually contact us for more assistance. So all we just need to do is always press load statement. Alright, then we select your bank statement PDF format, press open. The system will then detect this is whether it's a Malaysian bank, uh, Malayan banking, or whether it's public bank or HB bank. Alright, so if we press yes, the system will actually load the bank statement for you. Alright, and of course the system at the bottom here will tell you these are the missing transactions that's not on your bank statement. Straight away we can press the PV or SP to actually reflect to the particular transaction to create. Alright, so that's based on this function. We actually think that SQL would be a better fit if your bank statement has many pages. It will definitely cut down the time taken to complete your bank account. If you have any other comments, can leave it below on which do you think that is better. Thank you.